Hi, George Bruno here with you, also known as the Sultan of Silver. Long day at the salon today, and I just thought I'd share a couple things with you. We had a very warm day outside of Philadelphia today. Here's the deal when it comes to beards. People are panicking that their beard is going to be too hot. There's a couple things I want you to know about beards. I'm going to share two different beard facts in two different videos. In this one right here, if you're a hiker or a backpacker, years ago there was a fabric that was spun from polypropylene. Polypropylene was something that kept you warm in the winter. Even if it was wet, it would keep you warm in the same way wool would. But there would be polypropylene underwear and that was polypropylene that was closest to your skin, a layer close to your skin was polypro, polypropylene, and the outside was cotton. Polypropylene wicked moisture away from your skin. The cotton dispersed the moisture and thereby kept you warm because if you're backpacking, if you're hiking, wetness uh, can kill you, actually. Uh, it can bring your temperature down. So it would keep you warm by wicking moisture away. All right, through evaporative, it would bring the moisture away from the body. Your beard, think about this. Remember I talked about coarseness and porosity. Hair absorbs moisture. Every day, your beard is about 70%. Think about cigars. Remember I said hair is like cigars. Now check this out. When you're in the shower, your 70% moisture beard becomes a 90% moisture beard. So what happens is it's absorbing humidity. It's absorbing moisture. That's why it's great to put oil on. But here's the deal. In the, in the summertime, it wicks moisture away from your face, away, literally away from your skin because hair and this is beautiful. This is, this is Mother Nature at its best. Wicking moisture away from your face. And then, even the slightest movement, walking, just w the slightest bit of breeze, cools. So it's literally, now Google this phrase, evaporative cooling. It literally is the concept of evaporative cooling in a biological being. So a beard can keep you cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Why does it do that? In the winter time, if you know anything about down feathers, the more feathers there are in an area, the more loft that they have, the more trapped air there is. That's why a very, very light down comforter can keep you warm even outside or down jackets. So what your beard does, the bigger your beard is, the more loftier it is. Think about how a thermos works. A thermos keeps uh, drinks cold or hot by trapping air in between two walls. Your beard traps air. You literally, I remember one time, because I worked in the corporate world before I cut hair full time, I remember one time growing a beard, going on vacation, and Probably I had like maybe a month beard. I had to shave it off in, it was probably January. I remember walking out of the house on the first day with a clean shaven face thinking, holy cow, my face is freezing because the day before it was very warm. Your beard traps the warm air in. There's no evaporative cooling because your face is not giving off the moisture in the winter in the same way as it does in the summertime. So that's the unique paradox of a big beard, is that it warms in the winter and it cools in the summer. So don't panic. Don't start thinking, oh, I gotta take this beard down because spring is here or summer is coming. Think about it, there's science behind this. Actually, there's biology behind this. Beards keep you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. This is George Bruno, also known as the Sultan of Silver. You can find me on Instagram, at George A. Bruno, my website, georgebruno.com, and my Facebook business page, George Bruno Luxury Hair Experience. Have a great weekend, guys, and thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it.